Welcome to another SIN 7 tutorial by Brando Consulting, inventory software expert since 2006. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Comment below if you have any questions about the content of this video. The content of this video is going to be fixing your mistakes. Did I say your mistakes? I meant someone else's mistakes. We're going to go over adjusting inventory and we get there by going to the stock section and then adjustment. You'll see a whole list of adjustments. This is a great screen for administrators to see the history of what adjustments have been made. There's more than one date for the adjustment, a created date and a completion date. There's also an audit trail in the admin screen to show who made corrections and adjustments to this adjustment. It records what branch, which in other words is a warehouse with an address. It records which branch the adjustment was made. You can even click on this little info balloon to see what adjustments were made. Okay, let's make an adjustment. Click on new inventory adjustments. Brings us to the adjustment screen and at the top, it says who the adjustment is being made by. So it keeps track of that. And also who processes the adjustment after it's created. We type in a reason for the adjustment and enter in the product being adjusted. We can go up or down, change the quantity. This is a positive number. So this one will be adjusted up. I'll click tab and SIN7 gives us this pop-up that says receipt into stock. This part has no current stock information and it simply says we are going to create a new costing layer. At what cost you may ask? Look right here under the unit cost section behind the pop-up and you'll see that SIN7 grabbed a cost from the product records. So click save and if we'd like we can even edit that cost. Okay, so let's do a decrease adjustment, an adjustment with another part decreasing down. So this time we're going to put in a negative symbol to decrease the quantity down. I'll click tab and you'll see this time SIN7 gives us a different pop-up. It's white and it says receipt out of stock. Now what's neat about this is you can actually select which costing layer to deplete from. This one only has one costing layer. Let me show you one that has more than one costing layers and show you what happens. Here is an example of a product that has multiple costing layers to choose from. SIN7 defaults to the most recent costing layer. You'll see here it says $740 per unit. I can simply delete this line by clicking on this little X, click and then select the costing layer that says 760. Select. Now it's selected that. I'll click Save. And notice it now changed the cost to 760. Pretty cool feature to be able to select which costing layer to deplete inventory from. Now once we have our adjustments in the system, we enter in a date that those adjustments were completed. Or if we'd like someone else to look at this, and enter in the date completed, we can simply click approve and then someone else later can come back and enter in a completion date. The administrator may also start back on this list and see that we have an open adjustment with a created date but no completed date. So he or she would simply click on this link to go to the adjustment and enter in a completed date and time then click save and back to list or save to admin means save and then advance to the administration screen. I'm going to do that because I want to show you the audit trail or the update log. So down here in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see that it keeps track of the user that made the adjustment, the status, the action that was performed, the date of the adjustment, and any cost that changed 
or an item that changed. So the administrator can actually go to the adjustment or anyone that has user rights and edit a change, edit a cost or edit a quantity. For instance, we're going to change that to a two instead of a one. Click save and then click save to admin. We'll see one more line there with the date and time stamp that I just did and notice the quantity change, the, the total amount quantity. I hope you found this video useful. Comment below if you have any questions. Subscribe to see more videos like this.